that the window for exports is narrowing. Was that you, Mr. Simone? Um, and a recognition, as, as you pointed out, Mr. Vitas, that some, some 63 different projects around the globe are up for consideration. Uh, in Alaska, we always like to think that our gas, our oil is better than everybody else's, but at the end of the day, we're participants in a world market, and we need to, to appreciate that. So is there, is there agreement that, that the window for uh, U.S. export is a limited window? I mean, you said okay, okay. it, so yeah, you must agree. I, 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 one of the things that uh, I think needs to be reinforced Customers, and I think Mr. Sissio indicated that, customers need reliability of supply. If they feel that the U.S. government is not going to supply reliably, they will sign at a higher price from Australia or Russia or anybody else that is willing to give the assurance that that supply is there. So the, they need that supply in 18, so they are looking for projects now. If we take too long, one project a year, whatever the case may be, rulemaking, whatever cases we may decide to go through it that delay all the projects, we will lose that opportunity. We will not have the investment. We will not have the jobs. We will not have a growing supply of, of gas in this country where it actually can provide the benefits to the manufacturing industry. There's also a point that I didn't mention in my last comment, but I want to make sure, and I'm sure Pat will corroborate because we're going through the same processes. These facilities are anchored by 20-year agreements. The companies that are anchoring these agreements have to put uncapped parent company guarantees for the stream of payments over 20 years. That's each company on one train, and we have three trains at Cameron. Uh, Sabine Pass is going through a process of two plus two plus two. Each train, the guarantee is in the tens of billions of dollars in credit posting. There aren't that many companies around the world that can anchor these agreements. So the notion that there's enough companies to support 20 applications in front of the DOE is simply nonsense. It doesn't exist. There's not enough financing in the world to support that. And so if we keep delaying those projects that are real and feasible, like Chenier's that actually got theirs in Freeport now, and there are projects that have commercial agreements and have done the FERC application, we deny the opportunity of those projects to catch this opportunity, this narrow window that the U.S. has, for geopolitical purposes and for economic purposes.